Hey, what up? It's your boy Aki checking in here with another video. So in this video, I'm letting you guys know what's going on with my deal. And uh, to be 100 with y'all, I have had no offers yet. I know I made a video the other day letting you guys know I had no offers, but what I did today was I actually did a $10,000 price reduction because I remember telling you guys initially that I had the potential to make anywhere from fifty dollars to $80,000 profit on this deal. And... I was going for a home run, swinging for 80, and you know what? It has not happened at all. Um, so the house right across the street is actually on the market and pending right now for about 400000 to 420000 You really can't tell on Zillow until it's actually sold, you know, and it's actually recorded at the county office. And that's when it comes up with the full actual, you know, finished uh, final selling price. And so... With that being said, initially that house was priced at 425 for about 90 days and at around 120 days it actually got a contract on it for uh, after it had a $5,000 reduction at around 420,000. So, you know, I'm just guessing that somebody offered maybe, you know, 390, 400, 410, something like that and they took it. So, um, my pro my property is um, pretty much the same type of build, but my property does have a lot of smaller things that need to be done. Electrical needs to be updated. There's painting that needs to be done. There is a garage that could be built out. Um, and, you know, the driveway would need to be paved. Things like that would increase the property value significantly. Um, at this point in time, you know, I've been holding on to this property for several months and I'm pretty much, you know, in a space where I can profit literally the same amount right now that as I would if I went ahead and finished the property and I have to wait as long. So um, with all that being said, um, I did a $10,000 price reduction. I had it priced at two sixty nine. dollars um, Right now we're at two fifty nine, dollars And, um, you know, I'm going to keep you guys totally posted, you know, let you guys know what's going on with, uh, you know, different offers I get, different um, different ways I can exit this property. But there's, um, to me, there's no risk in this at all because I bought it deep enough. And, you know, I know the resale value, you know, as is right now, I'm going to be, you know, um, still, you know, in the green significantly, you know, including all my uh, rehab costs, including all of my vendor costs in terms of, you know, uh, siding, uh, material costs and stuff like that, marketing, you know, uh, paying my employees and all that kind of stuff. I'm still in the green. So that really is the value in being able to do your own direct marketing to sellers is, sorry guys, is being able to get such a good deal that you can, you know, uh, be able to uh, price your property um, where you can really try to, you know, get as much as possible. And if not, you're still able to reduce it and still be able to make a significant profit. So, um, these are the type of deals I really do enjoy. I don't, I mean, I, I, I enjoy all my deals, you know what I mean? But when you can make a deal, um, that much juicier, I enjoy seeing those checks a lot more or a lot. I enjoy seeing those wires a lot more than I, than I do, you know, the smaller deals. Obviously some people think more deals are better, but I think, you know, the bigger, the better. That's just my personal preference. And, um, you know, so the plan is, you know, at this point is to get the property sold. So we already did one price reduction, um, $10,000 and we're going to wait about a week or so. If we don't get, you know, if we don't get any offers, obviously keep reducing it and, um, you know, weighing, weighing our options because there has been a couple of people interested um, maybe they're waiting to get it at a certain price, but you know, there's some people that are more attracted to a hotel, um, with, with less work than others. Some people are intimidated. Um, I will say the thing about doing a hotel at this price point is that, you know, typically at, at a $250,000 to $270,000 price point, you know, um, when you're flipping it, you're expecting to make a certain amount. And so right now, my hotel is pretty much priced for somebody that wants to live in it. You know, it's not going to be an investor that plans on flipping it because, you know, if he's going to flip a property and make 30000 he might as well flip a property that's, you know, you know, 
that's 80,000 and he can put you know 25 30 into it and then sell it for 150 155 160 you know he can do the same work there um, and li with less risk and less lender costs than you know buying my property so that's pretty much what a wholesale is man you really want to look for those buyers that are gonna you know live in it or pay that retail price and we're close to that retail pricing so um, just a quick update deal update um, I know I'm sweating like a mug just getting back from doing a workout so um, excuse that I'll talk to y'all in the next video and I'll keep you posted